Hi everyone, welcome back again and sorry for the delay. In the last video, we created the interface to send the notification. Now our task is to send the HTTP request from Android side to our API that we created. And for this, I will be using or we will be using the retrofit library. And I also have a complete retrofit series. I will leave the link to the description so that you can check that playlist if you want to learn about retrofit as well. Now let's move ahead. But before starting it, I request you to please support me by sharing the tutorials in your circle. So the first thing that is needed is retrofit itself because it is a third party library we need to add it. It is not available by default. So what we will do, we will go to Google and we will search retrofit. Now go to downloads and we need to add this line into our app level build.gradle file inside dependencies block. So what I will do, I will add it here. And one more thing I need or we need that is retrofit JSON. And it is a converter factory that is needed to convert the JSON response automatically. So I need this thing as well. So copy this and add it and here we will put the version 2.5.0 that's it now we need to sync our project and the retrofit will be added now we will code the thing inside send notification activity but for retrofit we need to create an interface so I will create a Java interface right click go to new and select Java and we will create an interface and I will name the interface API. Inside this interface we define all the calls. So here to our API we are sending a post request and the endpoint URL is sent. So what I will do is I will create a post request like this and whenever you use a post you need to define it as form URL encoded. And inside post, we will define the endpoint which is send. Now we will define a method here, and the return type of the method is call of type response body. And then I will name this method as send notification. Now we need to import the call as well. Yeah. Now to the send notification method, we need to pass three parameters token title and body and all the parameters are string so what we will do we will define field the first one is token of type string then we have field title of type string again and then we have body and it is also a string so we have the method that will send the notification so we have token title body and here also we have token title and body now come back to send notification activity and here first we will create a retrofit object so we will write retrofit retrofit equals to new retrofit dot builder now First, we will define the base URL for our retrofit object. So in API, you can see we are only using the endpoint. And the base URL is this thing. From HTTP to the API. So I will copy it and I will paste it here. So this is our base URL and make sure you have a slash at the end. It is very important. You have to give a slash at the end. Now after base URL, we need to define the converter factory. The second thing that we added with retrofit. So we will use the converter factory. And we are going to use JSON converter factory. So we have added the converter factory. And then finally we will build our retrofit object. Now we need an object of our API. 
and to get the object of API we will create it like this API API equals to retrofit dot create and here we will pass API dot class now inside API we have the method to send the notification and we have the notification title and body here that the user has entered and we have the token inside this user object the selected user so let's send the request very quickly so what we will do is we will call the method send notification and we will pass token so we will get the token from the user object that we have here so we will write user dot token and then we have title and body so we have the title and body and we have added the validations as well so we have sent notification token title and body and then finally uh, we will store it the return type of the send notification is a call of type response body so we will define a call here of type response body and api dot send notification now finally we will execute the call using nq method so again just type new the nq method takes a callback and it is a bit long code so if you want to make it quick just type new press control space and select this callback and the code is added automatically now inside this response we will get the response that we are getting so if you want you can pass parse the response but right now I am not going to parse the response if you want to learn how to parse the JSON responses you can check the retrofit tutorial the link is given in the description of this video so uh, I will simply display the response so I will display the response in a toast and at a send notification activity dot this then response dot string sorry response dot body dot string and then the length of the toast and then finally we will display the toast now here we need to handle the exception with try and catch and everything is fine so it should work the only thing remaining is the internet permission so as we are performing a network operation we need to give our application the internet permission and you can give the internet permission by going to android manifest.xml and here just after the manifest opening tag we can define the permission so i will define users permission and internet that's it now it should work so let's test our application So guys this is our application we have only two users so right now I will select myself which is probelal3 at the rate gmail.com so click here and then we need to enter the title and the body so I will enter the title like hey how are you only for testing now finally I will click on the send button so click on send and you see we got the response and you can see we have a notification so it is working fine guys if you have two devices then you can test on two devices it will work so that's all for this video friends we learned how we can send notification from one android device to another android device and i hope you found this video helpful if you did then please hit on that like button subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends and you can get the source code from the link that is given in the description of this video and for any kind of query you can leave your comments and if your application is crashing please don't comment that my application is crashing instead check the error from the log cat and post the error then only i can help you if you will tell me that my application is crashing i have no idea why it is crashing so i cannot help you in that case so thank you guys this is belal khan now signing off